ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the Tough Enough Lightweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of one win and two losses. Fighting out of Carlson Gracie, Torres MMA, Las Vegas, Nevada. Dane White Tyson Hans. His opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with two wins and two losses. Fighting out of Golds, Las Vegas, Nevada. Here is Darnell Bombas. <laughs> Referee in charge of the action inside the cage is Chris Tyone. Here we go. Danny tries to close distance with a jab. See if he gets warned by the referee, though, extending that yeah, hand. Yeah, fingers out, yeah, on Darnell's part. That was pretty bad, actually. That was good, decent head work by Darnell, though. Yeah, he seems pretty calm, pretty collective. Definitely looks calm. Maybe the calmer of the two. Danny's pretty tight, just the shoulders and neck. Nice in and out by Darnell. Nice leg kick by Darnell. Tempting side kick there. He's using the footwork that you like. He's moving around, taking full yep, use of yep. the octagon. But he does only have a two-minute round to work with. Right, but thus far, well, nice takedown. Yeah. Well, you better watch out for the guillotine. Nah, the hands aren't connected. He's going to be fine as soon as he... Yeah, and the guillotine is the arm is up. Door, yeah. It's hard to get pressure. Decent, uh, decent power on the body shots by uh, Darnell this early in the fight. Yeah, he's swinging up high, though. I'd be scary of getting thrown into a triangle there. Let's see if uh, Dane sees that. It has the ability to capitalize on it. Yeah, that takes some time in there, but he does have the forearm up there. You see him bringing up the shin. I don't like the way he's kind of in an unclosed guard. Nothing really happened in there. There's not a lot of offense to be had from there. No. He's got to start moving his hips, creating an angle. He's really just using their shins for defense. Yeah. And instead of holding on to the head, I'm always been more of a fan of holding on to the arms. It allows you to attack them. Yeah. Holding on to the head just kind of takes some of the uh, power off the punches. But the guy's still scoring them. Right. So. Yeah. Well, now he's trying to frame him out and get him off. And that's the time. You know what? That was a pretty calculated round by Darnell. Yeah. You know? He, Sat out there, didn't take any big shots. Yeah, it's, it's Landed only, a couple combos, you know, again, and they've got that got takedown. Two minutes, time to take down well. Did a little work. We'll see what uh, Danny has to offer. Danny Hands. Is that his yeah. last name? Hands? We'll see yes. what he's got to offer in the second round. Dane Hands, the White Tyson, coming out of the blue corner there. Yeah, out of the two, Darnell, uh, very uh, calculated. Looks like he's very coachable, able to do, yeah. you know, perform. You, you see that he's got his hands down, but he, he had his hands down at a good distance. Yeah, right. I mean, relatively safe This is more important was. than hands at that point. He yeah, controls his footwork. Absolutely. Defend with your feet, then your hands. Dane definitely looks a little looser now. Got that first two minutes out of the way. Ooh, Darnell is winging him. Winging him. Actually, Dane winging has a with the pretty decent up. jab. Dane's uh, actually a little tighter. Nice late kick. High kick grazes. There he goes, working the jab oh, again. Oh, strong double, though. Kind of a high double by Darnell. Slams him down. See if he can get anything going. But these short rounds, if you're on the bottom, you really got to start working. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you will lose Unless you get devastated uh, yeah. on your feet, it's kind of hard not to win the round if you secure the takedown. Danny actually looks pretty good on his feet there. 
Not really doing much of anything. Kind of no. rabbit punches. Yeah, and you know what? He looks oh, like he could almost take the back. He almost has the sweep, too. He, he could take No, the he's back. not identifying where he is right now. He can take he, the back. So uh, Dreisel does that. Let you go put your arm over his head, then he goes on that uh, shoulder lock with his hands. Yeah, I, I, don't, takes I don't think we're – I don't think we're there. <laughs> I don't think that's you don't what think we're doing. You don't think we're going to see a Dreisel-type maneuver? I think uh, Darnell just, you know – Grab the head. Oh, no, I was speaking more of Dane on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, to, to, to come over, yeah. Controlling the head. Use, use, yeah, use the, let's see. He's pushing oh. for a guillotine. Oh. Well, he's still got the position. Let's see if Dane can get a takedown and uh, wipe the slate clean. Well, Darnell looks pretty tight. Oh, he got caught with a jab. And he's not responding really at all. Oh, he better do something to stop is, uh, it right now. Dane's putting it on. Nice knee to the body by Darnell. Nice punch by Darnell. Yeah, Darnell, uh, he got Dane tired. just keeps the jab going. Ah. What do you think? Do you think that was enough to steal the round? Yeah, I think he actually looked pretty good before he got taken down. So th that'll be a close one for sure. Thank God I'm not a judge. I have no idea. I'd be worse at that than I am at this. That's bad. Well, you know what? Because uh, really the takedown was great for scoring position. You see a great takedown there. But it wasn't like Darnell yeah, he, did anything to inflict damage score. or look for a finish. He didn't score much off of it. Where when Dane got onto his feet, you see that uh, that's a scary way to punch people. That makes me nervous. Almost the, uh, be, the yeah. knuckling of the well, ear there. What if he calls a, a tap? You know, the referee jumps in. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. That's a good point. But then you see that. here he's able to break the grip, get back up to his feet, and behind a good double jab, he starts throwing an uppercut. It looks like a couple of them got through. Yeah, Darnell kind of overreacts here and just goes down and covers. Yeah, that covering and that really reaction. That. Uh, yeah, that would get a fight called on occasion. Yeah, and I think that he basically gave the, way, the round away. See if Dan is warmed up. He is. Ah, loads well, you know, of punches. He, but he's also aware that Darnell wants to shoot. So you see that he's coming with a jab, but immediately looking to throw something underneath. Darnell, nice, little, nice slip to the back. A little warning for grabbing the fence. Nice suplex by Darnell. And a good position. We'll see if he's able to throw some punches from here. He's thinking about suplexing him again. Nope, nope. He's looking. Oh, wow. Wow, I can't believe he was able to hold the position yeah, on I mean, that. He, not graceful, but he definitely had the head. Now he's on the bottom, though. Let's we'll see what Danny's able to do. He's got to work pretty hard. He's, well, you know, I he don't could, know if he needs to finish, but he needs something big right here. He does. Being on top might not be enough. Not I would gonna, almost say to let him up and try to finish him with some strikes. Well, at least hammer fist. That make the guy work his way up. Now he's sitting in half guard. Well, he has to work on two minutes. He works his way up. There might yeah. not be anything left in the round. Good point. There might be a minute left in the fight at this point. Nice. Or if he could end with a strong flurry. Maybe a little headbutt. Eh, unintentional. Nah, use, yeah, using the head to hold him back down. You see Darnell's not closing the half guard. He's kind of just holding the head. Nice. And he's able to create a little bit of space, looking for a big shot. Nah, no big shots to be had. He's going to settle. Now nah, he needs punches. to frame his arm and post up. Yeah, he's holding the back of his head like that's not helping. You see now he's reaching over the arms, there we trying go. to frame. He needs to get that hand in front of the throat, frame, and that way he can yeah, create he, space to throw some punches. Darnell wants no part of that. Tell he's uh, he's holding tight there. And that's it. Wow. We'll see this is going to be a close one. Enough. Yeah. It is going to be a close one. <coughs> Got pretty good there at the end. And Darnell, very glad that it was only a six minute fight. That was a nice little duck under base, I guess, yeah. he hit there with the elbows over the top. Took his back, hit a suplex, and got back on top. He's nice. able to take the yeah. back. A little wrestling drill there. He hits the suplex. We'll see it again. Then he pulls himself over on top. Now, even the joke <laughs> he had, he was able to actually keep body secure with, with no hooks in. 
typically you don't go for the throat unless you have some kind of lock on the body. Here you see him reaching up, yeah. grabs it. it. There, that should yeah. be him on the bottom right off the bat. In the end, though, he does end up on the bottom there. Yeah, that's a really, uh, his half guard being open that much going, really yeah. made it look bad for him on his side. I don't know what he's going for there. I don't know if he did either. Yeah, first yeah. round, easy to judge. Uh, second and third round, I I'm, I'm okay. yeah. wouldn't argue if it goes either way. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we have your winner by split decision, Donnell Bumpa. Yep. So two out of the three judges gave Darnell the second rounds.